Greece is a country that is a key part of our world for a whole lot of reasons, not the least of which is that in ancient times, it was one of the most important places on the planet. <laughs> it was the home to many empires, some legendary battles, and people who influenced the world. And without Greece, much of what we have in the world today would not be possible. And so people flock to the nation to learn more about it and see what relics and remnants of the ancient past are still around to be looked at. But even for a nation of great history, there are some things that are still odd to find. Here now are 20 strangest things ever discovered in Greece. Number 20. A really old tree. Now, much like Greece, trees are a key part of the world, and they too have a history that's just waiting to be explored if it's done in the right way. Through trees, we can understand things in certain time periods, and also see when certain big events happen due to their tree's rings. But even more basic than that, if we find a tree that has lasted longer than anyone expected, well that opens up plenty of doors for new discoveries. For example, in Greece in 2021, a discovery would be made that shocked everyone because they not only found a buried tree intact, but the age of that tree was 20 million years old. This new discovery in Greece scares scientists. To be clear, trees are known for having incredibly long lifespans, but there's a difference between living a few hundred years, a few thousand years, and then somehow being preserved for over 20 million years. The tree would be found during a road work near an ancient forest on the island of Lesbos that was petrified by a volcanic eruption some 20 million years ago. That's a good thing to know, because that also answers the question of how did the tree last that long. This kind of fossilization is actually rather common when it comes to volcanoes. I mean, just look at the city of Pompeii, for example. And believe it or not, the reason that the fossilization preserved the tree was because the ash provided minerals for the tree to survive. Furthermore, despite the tree being so old, there was already information that could be gleamed from it based solely on its position. Like what? Well, they used it to confirm that there was another volcano on the island. One can only imagine all of the other pieces of information that we may learn from this over time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. And boy oh boy do I have a doozy of a fancy topic for you. When it comes to Greece, they have a large mythology that doesn't only involve the gods, but also monsters of all shapes and sizes. From the mighty Cyclops to the Harpies to the Minotaur and more, people have learned to fear these creatures, and some still believe that they're out there waiting to be rediscovered. So now, take a look at this picture. What do you see? It's obviously a picture of a monster, but unlike many in Greek mythology, it's not one that's easily recognizable. Now allegedly, this picture was taken in Greece, and people are trying to figure out what it is. Obviously, that's a lie, because it's very clear that this so-called creature was not found in this shot based on the differences between the creature and the natural background that it's on. Just to be fair, let's look at the creature and see what we can discern from it. Because who knows, maybe we will find something unique and interesting. The first thing that pops out is the heads. There are two of them, and they're not shaped like anything that we've seen before. But to be clear, Greek myth does have multiple animals with numerous heads. Moving to the rest of its body, it clearly has multiple legs and with feet and hands that have a mixture of human and animal traits. It makes me wonder whether this creature is semi-aquatic, especially with its tail, or if there's something else going on here. Now yes, it is possible that this was just some random creation from a person who's trying to pawn it off as being real, because why not have some fun with what we're shown, right? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know what you think about what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Antikythera Shipwreck Finds now, if you're familiar with that name, chances are it's because you watch our videos. And we talk about it a lot. So much that I've grown to actually hate it. On the island of Antikythera was something found called the Antikythera Mechanism. <laughs> 
what many people believe is one of the world's first analog computers. Now, I could sit here and talk at length about this device and all of the mysteries that exist because of it, but I'm just going to move on from it for now. Because in 2018, a bunch of divers from Greece's Division of Underwater Antiquities went back to the Antikythera shipwreck and they found even more discoveries that were worthy of note. For example, they also found the bronze arm of a statue that they believe in its final form was part of a philosopher's statue. Another thing they found was a bronze disc. That disc was unique because it had a bull engraved on it. Symbolism was a big part of the Greek culture, and so it was very curious to find the disc with that marking. The team who had discovered it had no real true clues about what the disc was, but we should all be grateful that these finds were made because they show that there are always more things to find in the wreckages of the past. Yes, the ancient computer might have been the most significant find, however, when it comes to the clues of the past, we all need as much help as we can get to understand the what, where, when, why, and how. Case in point, the ship in question was likely heading to Rome when it was sunk by the storm, so what were these items going to be doing in Rome after they arrived? Did someone special order them and ask for their transport? What other artifacts may be found in shipwrecks hiding down below? Nobody will know until they actually get down there and find out. Number 18. Agia Theodora Vasta Church Next up, we have something that you actually have to see to believe, because this church in question isn't the main attraction, but what's been growing inside of it is. Agia Theodora Vasta is a small Byzantine church, having 17 holly and maple trees growing from its roof. Most of them are taller than 30 meters, and it's phenomenal as there's only one root about the thickness of an arm that is visible beside the entrance. But surely the inside is wrecked by all those roots and greenery, right? Well, wrong. Outside of one small thing, the contents of the inside are actually untouched. But wait, there's more. There's a river that actually runs under the church, and it's what helps to keep the trees alive. So, all around the church are parts of nature that are growing and flowing just fine, and yet the church is basically unscathed. You could say that the place is blessed. Speaking of which, the name of the church is based on a person who actually lived in Greece. Agia Theodora Vasta was a woman who apparently performed miracles, and it's said that if you pray to her, you'll have a miracle eventually done for you. As a result, many people make a pilgrimage to this church in order to pay their respects and possibly get some divine intervention. There are a lot of stories and legends about her, which includes how she went to war and tried to save her father, disguising herself as a man named Theodore, when a woman actually fell in love with her and accused her of making her pregnant, which is funny for a lot of reasons. She didn't drop her disguise and died with a prayer that her body become a church. It's said that on that spot where she died came a river, and it's one that is still there today. Number 17. Griffin Warrior Now there's a title that many people would have wanted. As I said, symbolism is a big deal in Greece, and your title could carry as much power and weight as your name. So if you were called the Griffin Warrior, you must have been special. And indeed, the find that would be made in 2015 at a site that had been excavated for over 30 years was well worth the wait, because within that place was a tomb of the so-called Griffin Warrior. And aside from this were many clues about the culture whose mythical heroes had starred in the Trojan War. The tomb of this warrior was obviously the big cat and they were amazed that this find had not only been perfectly preserved, but it also still had the remains of the warrior inside. Furthermore, there were other ancient treasures in that tomb that would help to uncover more mysteries of the warrior, his people, and the ancient times. One of the most distinctive items they found was an ivory plaque, one that was adorned with a griffin, and that's how they came to call this person the Griffin Warrior. But how do we know that the guy was a warrior? Well, it's simple. He was literally buried with all sorts of weapons and armor. I'm talking about swords and helmets, a dagger, you know, the works. This guy was buried with everything that a warrior would have taken into battle and then some. In total, about 1,400 objects were found in the gravesite. Do you realize how much history that is? Many of them were being restored, and that's so that they could be put into a Greece museum, which many would say was where they belong. But just as important, if something like that grave still exists, that means that there might be more like it out there just waiting to be discovered still. It's pretty cool to think about. Number 16. Sphinx Guarded Tomb 
Now, as I've already shown you, the tombs of ancient people were a treasure trove of, well, treasures, not to mention the knowledge that they would impart. But ironically, a year before the Griffin Warrior was discovered, another vast tomb would be found near the Macedonian region. But what sets this one apart from the other is that it's one that's actually being guarded by Sphinx statues. Also, when it was dated, they found that the tomb belonged to someone between 300 and 325 BC. Why is that date significant? Well, it's simple. That was around the period that Alexander the Great had lived and died. And while there was no clear connection to him at the time, that doesn't mean there wasn't one to begin with. Even the scientists who had found it knew that they'd uncovered something truly great, and that makes finds like these all the much better. Why is it so strange? Well, that's a good question to ask. The answer to that is the grandiose nature of it. If you think about it, why would someone need Sphinx statues to protect the tomb if they weren't important? Making those statues are not an easy thing, and they had to be large enough to guard the tomb so that someone had to be willing to put in the effort and make sure that they stood out. Plus, the tomb itself had a large marble wall protecting it, and why would it need that as well? Tombs like these are fascinating because they showcase the culture of the people who had made them, and you can often find out a lot about a culture just by how they buried their dead. Number 15. Shackled Skeletons and here's another example of how burying someone can lead to strange finds that call into question the culture that buried them. In 2016, at least 80 skeletons would be found in a mass grave in an ancient Greek cemetery. Their wrists were clamped with iron shackles. That's pretty much the antithesis of what I talked about before with this grandiose tomb. This is a kind of burial that was definitely meant to insult someone, as well as to hurt them while they were still alive. The team that found them believes that they were the result of a mass execution, which would explain their shackles and why they were buried together like this. But as for the other questions you may be asking, like who they were, who killed them, and why they did it, why they buried them like that, well, it's all a mystery. Those who examined the bones noted that they were all rather young when they died, further adding to the mystery of the execution. And another element is that archaeologists claim that they were buried with respect, which is a curious thing to note given that they were buried in shackles. After dating them to a rather tumultuous period of Greek history, many felt that they were supporters of a person in power, and that would lead to their executions. Number 14. More Shipwrecks Nearly 60 shipwrecks that date from ancient Greece to the 20th century would be found in the Aegean Sea in 2018. Now, you may think that the Greeks were merely bad at keeping their ships afloat, but trust me, a lot of cultures from the earlier days of sailing did have their own troubles. And if you don't believe me, just look at Spain and their treasure fleet. Anyways, within these many vessels were over 300 treasures to be found, and that made them the largest find of its kind in the Mediterranean. Curiously, the treasures that were mainly found were containers like jugs, which might be odd to some, but given the period of time, it's believed that this was a transport ship for wine, oil, fish sauces, perhaps honey, and other valuable liquids that needed to be taken by sea to get to a place that didn't have them in abundance. As for why they were all sunk, it's believed that there were some tricky conditions and possibly some inexperienced captains that would lead to the ship's downfall. Either way, it made quite a find in the present. Number 13. Old Human Fossil when it comes to archaeology, there are many kinds of treasures that people in that field want to find. But believe it or not, the ones that they often value the most are the human remains from ancient times. For example, in 2019, a piece of human skull would be found in Greece that was so old, it was believed to be the oldest human fossil found outside of Africa. So how old does that make it? Well, based on dating and some nerdy scientist stuff, it's said to have been about 210,000 years old. In other words, it old! To be fair, there is some dispute among scientists and other nerds about it, and carbon dating and other practices are not always as accurate as they would like them to be. However, if it is true, that would be a massive find for a simple reason. It would rewrite human history once again. 
You see, most would agree that humanity was born in Africa and then spread out to other parts of the world, but this fossil predates humans in Europe by almost 160,000 years. Now you see why it's important, because if substantiated, it could mean that humanity had left Africa far earlier than previous estimates, and that could change when certain places were colonized, when civilizations were born, and more. All because of a fragment of human skull. Number 12. 2200-year-old mosaics. Art is another one of the many kinds of artifacts that people love to discover, especially if they can provide a key insight into the history or culture of their origin, and most importantly, if it's in good condition. In 2017, a set of three mosaics were found in a city called Zugma, and as you can see, these were not simple mosaics that were discovered. They were wonderfully preserved works of art from a city that has been a treasure trove of finds for many years. The reason that this city has so many finds is that it was literally underwater until about two decades ago. No, really, it was underwater until things finally dried up in the year 2000, and ever since then, archaeologists have flooded to the city to find out what remains within. And these mosaics are old, as they date all the way back to the 2nd century BC. That is pretty old, and if such preserved pieces of art are still out there, what else might be hiding in the city just waiting to be found? Number 11. Pyramid Peak And now for something a little bit different, but not in a bad way, whatever that means. There are plenty of mountains all over the world, and to some they might all look the same depending on your point of view. But in Greece, there's one that's a mountain that is a rather strange peak that can be seen beautifully because of a drone video. And as you can see in the clip, the top of the mountain kinda looks like a pyramid. That's odd because mountains aren't exactly supposed to look like that. But who am I to tell nature how it should be shaped? Mount Tagetus overlooks the cities of Sparta and Kalamata, whose skyline it dominates. And it's a mountain that is so sacred that the nation of Greece actually protects it. It's so old and revered that it was actually named in the Odyssey, so that's pretty special. And while you can hike up certain parts of the mountain, you can't even think about building anything on it. Greece wants to keep this part of the environment intact and exactly the way that it is. And I wish that other nations would do that, to be honest. Number 10. The Antikythera Mechanism now, I teased this one before and talked about my hatred for it, but now I'll talk about it in full, because it's written on my screen and I get paid to do it. As noted, it was found in a shipwreck near the island that it was named after, and it was a kind of ancient computer in the analog sense. But what you haven't been told about the Antikythera mechanism is what it actually did. After a whole lot of study, it was found that sailors had used it to predict the positioning of planets and stars in the sky depending on the calendar month. That's right, it was a kind of star chart that they used to help with them in sailing with surprising accuracy. The reason that this is so strange is that this kind of technology should have been far beyond the reach of the ancient Greeks, and when they opened that sucker up to study the inside of the mechanism, they found that it wasn't one that was easy to construct or even make work. So how did they come up with the idea of what it was to get it to be so precise? Well, we may likely never know. Number 9. Develis Cave Caves have often been a place where great findings have been discovered, and Greece has plenty of them to explore. But one of the most interesting was that of the Develis Cave. The cave was named after a brigand who had quite a legend attached to him. And that cave by extension. So sadly, the legend wasn't true, but what was inside of the cave was a church literally built into the rock. It was used by 12th century Christian hermits that were associated with the Gnostics. But wait, there's more. If you went even further into that cave, you would find a place for worship of the god Pan. Many artifacts were found about Pan and beyond, and they're now in the Athens Museum. And if you talk to certain people, you'll hear that sometimes weird things can happen in that cave. Number 8. Ancient Greek Theater those who know Greek history will know that the theater and the arts were one of the trademarks of the ancient culture. They would create massive theaters to watch plays and performances. 
where the sick came to be treated by doctor priests doing the work of Asclepios, the Greek god of medicine. Thankfully, some of these theaters do still exist, such as the one that was found last year on the island of Crete. There were two possibilities for this theater. One, it was a place where certain musical activities were done. Or two, it was somewhere where assemblies met. Either way, it was dated back to the 1st century AD, and it's speculated that flooding occurred after a powerful earthquake in the late Roman era, and it destroyed part of the theater along with other sites on the island of Crete. But for now, it's being preserved so that it can be studied some more. Number 7. The Temple of Poseidon in ancient Greece, there was almost nothing bigger than the gods. Zeus and his pantheon still loom large over the culture today in the entertainment sense, but back then, massive templates were used to worship gods like Aphrodite, Ares, Hera, and of course, Poseidon, the god of the sea. Archaeologists recently discovered what they believe was one such temple that was dedicated to Poseidon. The 2,000-year-old structure matches descriptions that were written by ancient Greek historians, which is always a good sign when you can back things up with a historical text. The location of the temple was said to be because this area had been wrecked by tsunamis in the past, which is another thing that Poseidon was the god of. Certain things are still up in the air, but if this is the Temple of Poseidon, that would be a huge historical landmark for Greece to celebrate. Number 6. An Ancient Town Now, One thing you may be surprised by when it comes to historical findings is that they do find a lot of buried cities all over the world, and not even in the they were buried by volcanoes kind of way. Now, they were just buried over time, and they were waiting to be rediscovered. One such ancient town would be found in Greece this past June, and it had quite a history before being buried, as it had contained artifacts from the 6th century BC to the 7th century AD. A key thing to note here is that this area was not known for its archaeological finds in the past, thus it was a very unique find, and many felt that as they opened up the area more, they would find even more things of this nature. You just never know until you try. Number 5. The Elipotripa Cave Now we're in another cave, and in, in this case, this is one that was used for many things. Not the least of which was cult activity. Yeah, real spooky. But wait, that's not all. It's also one of the largest Neolithic burial sites ever found in Europe. That's a time period when archaeologists just love to find remnants from, as it helps to paint the picture of what life may have been like in that time. There were plenty of human remains in the cave, including some that went all the way back to the 4th millennium BC, with at least 170 people buried in the cave. Plenty of information could be found out about their lives, the way the culture existed, and more. Caves are important in almost every period of history, and that's why you have to explore them no matter how scary they may look from the outside. Number 4. The Peristera Wreck how about another shipwreck? This one's not technically about treasure though, but rather about the ship itself. The Peristera wreck is one of the largest ships of its time to have been found, and its discovery was of major significance to many historians. Because while the Greeks were known for their shipbuilding, many historians believed that they were only of a certain size and could carry only a certain weight. However, when it came to this ship, it was much larger, much heavier, and had much more cargo than anyone ever thought possible. Plus, it was built four centuries before people thought that it had been constructed, and that's why it's best not to guess when it comes to history, because you never know when something's going to come along and tell you just how wrong that you are. Number 3. Aristotle's Tomb Philosophy was one of the things that helped to move Greece in the New Age, even if it wasn't fully appreciated until many centuries later. One of the greatest philosophers of all time would be Aristotle, whose burial place was a great mystery to historians for many years. Fast forward to 2016, and many people had claimed to have found the philosopher's tomb. Now the tomb was allegedly found in the place where Aristotle was born, so it would make sense that he would end up there, but there's still some debate about whether the tomb this archaeologist claimed was the real deal or not. No matter what the truth may be, the tomb in question was extravagant, so someone important was buried there, but the question still remains as to who. Number 2. Cemetery for Infants 
As I've already talked about, burial sites were important to ancient cultures. But what would you say to the information that there was a site dedicated solely to burying infants? It's kind of creepy and a little bit sad. The place in question would be found on an island, and people were very curious why such a burial site existed. The bodies of the babies were placed in plots and then buried in shallow pits with stones on top, a common practice of the time. When those bodies were observed by archaeologists, that's when they realized that the ages of the children were either newborn or toddlers at the most. But the question then became, why would so many women bury their babies there? Nobody has an answer as of yet, but the truth might still lie deep within the burial site itself. Number 1. Antikythera Shipwreck Skeleton I do well and truly hate this shipwreck. I've already talked about the computer that it had, and the other treasures that were found within, so what else is there? Well, how about a supposed 2,000-year-old body? Divers discovered the skeletal remains of a man who was possibly a crew member, and despite the bones being in the water for so long, it said that they were in remarkable condition, meaning that they could possibly extract DNA from it and learn more about the person and possibly what led to the ship going down in the first place. That's all from the realm of Greece and all of the wonders that are both interesting and yet very strange. Which of these items did you think was the strangest of the bunch? And which do you feel that we will get the true answers to in good time? Perhaps there's another strange discovery in Greece that could have been on this list. You should be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time. I love you.